Hidden beneath eternal layers of ice and snow, the Antarctic is a continent brimming with mysteries and intrigues. For centuries, it has captivated the imaginations of explorers, scientists, and enthusiasts alike, drawing them to remote and desolate landscapes in search of answers to age-old questions. What are they seeking in this barren white expanse? UFOs or ancient pyramids? Remnants of Hitler and the Nazi regime or viruses fossilized millions of years ago? Or perhaps they are simply pursuing clues about our planet's distant past, back to a time before human intervention altered the natural balance of this land. Despite the harsh and perpetual cold, researchers persist in their quest for these answers. Amidst the enigmatic backdrop of the Antarctic, a dedicated community of enthusiasts perseveres in seeking understanding from this frozen realm. To them, the Antarctic is also a secretive destination ripe for exploration. Nations continue to pour investments, and tycoons and magnates from around the globe converge here. What are they concealing in this untamed wilderness? Today, join us as we uncover the pristine beauty and enigmatic mysteries of the Antarctic, where past and present intersect in a symphony of wonder and discovery. Atlantis in Antarctica Today we have numerous hypotheses about the existence of a lost civilization, even predating its retelling by Plato around 360 BC. This legendary name first appeared in two philosophical works, Timaeus and Critias, by Plato, presenting ideas about the downfall of ancient nations and the ideal model of a state. In these works, Atlantis was depicted as an advanced empire that sought world domination. However, this ambition was thwarted by an idealized nation Plato referred to as ancient Athens, leading to divine punishment and the collapse of Atlantis. Since then, the civilization supposedly aided by the gods was submerged by a great wave and vanished forever. Where could it be? Within the Bermuda Triangle, sunk beneath the raging waters, or perhaps as the precursor to the Minoan civilization before the 9th millennium BCE. To this day, the exact location and existence of the civilization, dating back 9,000 years before Plato's time, remains a mystery. In his 1882 book, Atlantis, the Antediluvian World, writer Ignatius Donnelly argued that there must have been an advanced civilization preceding ancient times, capable of passing down achievements such as metallurgy, language, and agriculture. He contended that relying solely on ancient humans would not have been sufficient to independently innovate such remarkable achievements. Donnelly described a submerged continent due to rising sea levels, located precisely where the philosopher Plato had mentioned. In the Atlantic Ocean, just outside the Pillars of Hercules, the two rock formations marking the entrance to the Strait of Gibraltar. Long after modern oceanography and advanced geological studies found flaws in his thesis of a shifting water region, some still clung to Donnelly's theory primarily due to its alignment with Plato's description of Atlantis being situated amidst the Atlantic Ocean. However, no additional credible evidence emerged to support this. Others subscribed to a different hypothesis, such as that proposed by Professor Charles Hapgood, suggesting Atlantis is a much gentler version of what is now the Antarctic region. The primary evidence for this viewpoint lies in the Piri race map, depicting an ice-free Antarctica. The Piri race map is a world map compiled in 1513 from military intelligence by Ottoman Navy Admiral Piri Race. It's important to note that at that time, humans hadn't traversed all the oceans to confirm Earth's spherical shape, yet unexplored regions like the North Antarctic Sea appeared on the Piri Ray's world map. How could he accurately depict the northern coastline of Antarctica? Was this the result of global exploration by an ancient civilization previously unknown. In his book, The Maps of the Ancient Sea Kings, 1966, Charles Hapgood proposed a theory about the global exploration of an ancient civilization previously unknown, based on his analysis of ancient and medieval maps. This civilization was probably Atlantis.
About 12,000 years ago, Earth's crust underwent significant shifts, leading to a large landmass being pulled from a more distant location towards the North Pole and becoming the desolate landmass it is today. With a mild and pleasant climate, this place was the homeland of an advanced civilization, but everything changed abruptly as the Earth's southern pole became icy, burying the inhabitants of the Atlantean civilization and their magnificent cities under layers of ice. This is why he believed that this advanced civilization was hidden deep beneath the ice sheets of this continent. From Hitler to NASA. However, despite the antiquity of the story, scientists continue to ponder the hypothesis that Atlantis sank beneath the ice sheets of the Antarctic. NASA and the programs of the Nazi regime are two key players in this ongoing investigation. In October 2018, Russian scientists discovered remnants of a Nazi base built in 1942 in the Arctic region, specifically on the small island of Alexandra Land, located about 960 kilometers from the Earth's North Pole. This discovery sparked a new wave of sensational claims about the potential existence of Atlantis in the Antarctic. According to Sputnik, renowned websites specializing in conspiracy theories and mysteries suggested that amidst the chaos of wartime, German forces could secretly venture to the Arctic to establish bases, leaving them free to move further south to the Antarctic. Many assert that thanks to research conducted by the Thule Society, a secretive organization supporting the Nazi party, Dictator Adolf Hitler became aware of the existence of Atlantis remnants in the Antarctic and even authorized the construction of a mysterious facility called Bayes 22 for further exploration. Subsequently, numerous pieces of information emerged attempting to connect the legendary city with the coldest continent on Earth. From a scientific perspective, News cites a geological expert discussing the theory of Earth's crustal displacement. According to this theory, approximately every 40,000 years, the Earth's crust undergoes a significant shift, altering the positions of continents. Thus, around 12,000 years ago, the Antarctic continent could have been located closer to the equator, unaffected by glaciation, and entirely suitable for prehistoric human settlement. Contemporary studies indicate that the ice mountains in Antarctica are relatively young when placed within the context of geological history. This could support the hypothesis that during prehistoric times, the Atlantis civilization flourished until it was destroyed by geological shifts and the Ice Age. Furthermore, from the latest images collected in the U.S. Space Agency's IceBridge program, conspiracy theorists claim to have found traces of an ancient city, including canal-like structures and large caves potentially used for habitation. Some even allege the presence of structures resembling Aztec pyramid architecture emerging from the ice. This prompted ancient code to revisit the legend of the Aztec's origin, suggesting their ancestors fled to Central America from a distant land in the south called Aztlan after it was destroyed by natural disasters. As of now, NASA has not commented on these claims, and the scientific community has not entirely dismissed the possibility of Atlantis' existence in Antarctica. Many believe that Atlantis played a minor role in Plato's narrative, and most experts assert that the vanished civilization is merely a product of the Greek philosopher's imagination. However, history and evidence surrounding Atlantis continue to fuel human curiosity. If Antarctica once experienced a verdant period instead of being covered in ice, Atlantis surely could have left traces on this continent. Forests buried in ice. And indeed, this is the truth. Through measurement processes, scientists have discovered that the ice mountains in Antarctica formed between 50 to 60 million years ago. This means that Professor Charles Hapgood's claims of a lush land beneath the ice sheet are entirely plausible. Its current climate may differ significantly from the past. Strong winds running from the polar plateau down the coastlines could have caused prolonged and intense storms that lasted for days or weeks, potentially carrying seeds across the continent. A snowy wilderness could have once been a vibrant greenland, 
a habitat for numerous civilizations that thrived like Atlantis. Ancient maps like the Piri Reis map serve as the first key to unlocking the treasures of Antarctica's mysterious past. Hundreds of millions of years ago, this continent combined with others to form the supercontinent called Gondwana. It was a land of mild, moist climates and home to diverse flora and fauna. However, major earth crust movements and changing weather patterns led to the extinction of most species. Recently, scientists from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee unearthed fossilized trees dating back around 260 to 280 million years. Across the continent, about five forests that survived the Permian extinction period have been discovered. The Permian extinction event was a catastrophic event that nearly wiped out life on Earth. About 90% of the planet's animals and plants perished, including over 95% of marine species and more than 70% of terrestrial species. To this day, the exact cause and timing of the Permian extinction remain a mystery. With other continents, the remaining traces of evolution may have been greatly obscured by human invasion and activity. Therefore, Professor Gulbranson and his team made the effort to travel to Antarctica to search for any remaining evidence on the ice. The fossil hunt took place in the Transantarctic Mountains, the icy continent's dividing wall separating the eastern and western regions. Crossing icy rivers and snow fields in temperatures below zero degrees and winds exceeding 60 km in H was no easy task. Gulbranson and his colleagues battled in their large mountaineering suits, their feet securely strapped in snow boots with crampons attached to the soles. They cautiously searched for cracks in the ice to avoid dangerous pitfalls. As they studied rocks and climbed mountains at their base camp, the entire team discovered five new fossil forests previously unknown on the continent. Gulbranson was nearly overcome with joy. A total of 13 different plant species have been discovered. The fossilized trees resemble the petrified forests of Yellowstone National Park. This is the result of perseverance, as scientists were unsure whether Permian vegetation would be preserved in the sedimentary layers of Antarctica. However, the expedition members believe that the sedimentary development they discovered coincided with the extinction event. This means that these new fossil forests lived through and survived the extinction event, representing three distinct ecosystems from 251 million years ago. It's truly miraculous. Many scientists warn that we are currently experiencing a mass extinction event caused by human destruction of natural systems. Therefore, the research findings of Professor Gulbranson's team are crucial for finding appropriate solutions. By studying past changes, scientists hope to open up many doors for the future. Conservationists warn that within 300 years, 75% of all mammal species may disappear from this planet. By 2060, some say we may witness 30% of all species go extinct. While other extinction events have been triggered by natural causes, we may be affected by habitat destruction, climate change, pollution, and more. And studies of the Permian extinction can teach us how species respond and adapt to extinction more clearly. White Pyramid. Moreover, the discovery of fossilized forests is like the final piece of the puzzle to solve a myriad of mysteries still lingering in Antarctica. These specific pieces of evidence are the strongest affirmation of the theories proposed by Charles Hapgood. If this snow-covered desert land once hosted forests, then it could also have been the landing place for many advanced civilizations. Due to the movement of Earth's crust, the phenomenon of warmer climates being rapidly pushed towards the poles and vice versa is evident, especially in regions like Antarctica and Siberia. The discovery of mammoths with frozen woolly coats and fresh vegetation in their stomachs in Siberia is evidence of this. However, if the shifting of the Earth's crust occurs, all living organisms will need to adapt, migrate, or perish.
This poses challenges for mammalian species living in polar environments, icy regions, or tundra, as migrating across such distances would be extremely challenging. Some researchers speculate that ancient advanced civilizations may have existed under such harsh conditions with support from beings from other worlds. Stories of underground bases, caves, and shelters are widespread worldwide. Reports of giant rifts and caves in Antarctica indicate the presence of protective underground structures. Combining the concept of Atlantis with the scientific theory of crustal displacement makes the possibility of large civilizations existing in ice-free Antarctica more plausible. With modern technology, including satellites, researchers have begun searching for mysterious civilizations hidden in Antarctica. Satellite imagery has revealed unusual shapes under the ice, some of which appear to be artificial structures protruding on the surface. This has sparked increasing interest in exploring the mysteries and unusual developments in Antarctica. One of the most intriguing discoveries in Antarctica is the presence of pyramids, reminiscent of those found in ancient civilizations around the world. Although the appearance of pyramids in Antarctica may be controversial, it fits the observed pattern in other parts of the world. Many images released in recent years suggest the existence of supersized structures in Antarctica. Some of these ice structures have even been compared to majestic ancient constructions like the Giza pyramids in Egypt. Covering an area of about two square kilometers, the Antarctic pyramids and their unique geological structures have immediately become a source of inspiration for various conspiracy theories. Some argue that they were built by an ancient civilization around 10,000 years ago when Antarctica was still warm. Others claim they are the work of extraterrestrial beings. According to David Childress, author of these theories, the ancient people may have constructed these pyramids even before the known constructions of the Egyptians. However, geological experts disagree. They believe that these structures are natural formations, resembling pyramids. The debate has sparked various opposing viewpoints and attracted significant attention on social media platforms. Neither side has been able to convince the other of their theory, leaving this mystery unresolved. Aliens and Nazis. However, whether real or fake, the appearance of the Antarctic pyramids still leads to conspiracy theories about extraterrestrial forces that may have once assisted humanity. Along with the melting ice due to greenhouse effects, many areas in Antarctica have been fully exposed to sunlight. Through satellite observations, many UFO enthusiasts have spotted unidentified objects through various images displayed on Google Maps, such as a photo discovered and shared online by a Russian individual in 2020. Upon closer analysis of the image, you can see a dark gray disc-shaped object that appears to reflect light, indicating it may be made of metal. It's quite peculiar, especially since this is not the first time such moments have been accidentally captured. Google Maps consistently displaying images of UFOs and evidence related to other civilizations seems to hint at something that we still don't fully understand in Antarctica. Alongside the ice melting activity, many scientists have discovered underground passages that may lead to the subterranean world of the icy continent. However, these caves only appeared a few times and disappeared after a month. Some speculate that these could be entrances to the dwelling places of mythical creatures, such as yetis or giants, based on their size. Others compare the entrances in Antarctica to a mysterious image of what seemed to be an extraterrestrial doorway on Mars in May 2022. The image of the entrance to Antarctica was shared on social media with the caption, Entrance into the Ice, garnering thousands of likes, comments, and shares. While some commenters humorously propose theories about a hidden Nazi base, a facility of the Fourth Reich, or illegal experiments, others remain skeptical. The foundation of this conspiracy theory partly stems from reality. In 1938, Hitler sent a German expedition to Antarctica to obtain whale oil. Since 1947, this expedition has sparked debates among conspiracy theorists. 
some of whom proposed the possibility that war criminals built a large military base beneath the ice during their month-long visit, where they believe high-ranking officials of Nazi Germany could have survived after the war ended. Although there is no specific evidence supporting this theory, sightings of German submarines in Argentina after the surrender of Nazi Germany in 1945 have fueled rumors about Hitler's survival and escape. To this day, the fate of the German dictator remains one of the longest standing mysteries of modern history, because evidence related to him has largely been destroyed and buried over time. However, there are still many other theories surrounding these underground passages. Renowned UFO expert Scott Waring believes that this entrance may lead to a secret military base or an extraterrestrial outpost. In a video, Scott showcased a photo of a mysterious object resembling a partially buried flying saucer beneath the Antarctic ice in the first cave. This cave has an entrance with a relatively symmetrical vaulted structure, indicating it could be man-made. He seems to suggest a potential connection between the two entrances and the partially buried UFO beneath the Antarctic ice. Unfortunately, the photo of the second cave on Google Earth has been blurred out. What are billionaires doing here? However, regardless of the truth, the effective spread of these rumors has ultimately achieved the goal of attracting public attention to the icy realm at the bottom of the Earth. Now, historical secrets may be pushed aside for new conspiracy theories as activities in Antarctica become more bustling. Why are billionaires flocking to this icy land? The vast, untouched expanses of Antarctica may evoke a sense of wonder and curiosity, attracting scientists, explorers, and adventurers. But what about the billionaires? What are they seeking? Surely the issues they are pursuing extend beyond scientific enlightenment. In contrast to the image of primitive research stations and dedicated scientists braving harsh conditions to pursue knowledge, there exists a parallel narrative one of hidden diplomatic meetings, ancient mysteries, and encounters beyond Earth. Amidst these speculations, the role of billionaires in the mysteries of Antarctica takes center stage. There are numerous rumors about secret encounters between ultra-wealthy individuals and extraterrestrials in the wilderness of Antarctica. It is said that these tycoons are not merely spectators, but actively involved in the quest to establish contact with extraterrestrial beings, pouring resources into clandestine activities and research groups dedicated to pursuing extraterrestrial technology. The significance of such discoveries is profound. Controlling extraterrestrial technology could place unparalleled economic and military power in the hands of a select few, potentially reshaping the global power structure. Interacting with extraterrestrial beings could elevate certain billionaires to the unofficial ambassadors of humanity, influencing policies and diplomacy between star systems. However, amidst the allure of power and exploration lies a darker possibility, the emergence of a new world order. Antarctica, beyond the oversight of governments and national publics, could become the headquarters for a global elite seeking to control or significantly influence world affairs. A coalition of billionaires, politicians, and international bankers conspiring in the isolation of the ice, manipulating the course of human history for their purposes. However, there is still no substantial evidence for these ideas. We are only witnessing waves of tourists flocking to this continent after the pandemic. According to the International Association of Antarctica Tour Operators, IATO, 74,401 tourists visited Antarctica with IATO member operators during the 2019-2020 season, compared to 56,168 tourists the previous year. Most Antarctic tourists arrive by sea, often embarking on short landings on the Antarctic Peninsula, south of Chile. While many tour operators emphasize their commitment to sustainability and ecological sensitivity, some Antarctic researchers have expressed concerns that tourism in Antarctica largely remains self-regulated. Although many countries, including Australia, claim territory in parts of the continent, 
Antarctica itself is not managed by a single agency, but rather by the Antarctic Treaty, which has been ratified by 54 nations. This means that tourist behavior and activities are primarily governed through guidelines outlined within the Antarctic Treaty system. Operators also need to meet certain requirements to become members of IAATO. These include the need to conduct environmental impact assessments, and temporary members must carry an IAATO observer on board to ensure compliance with the organization's standards. Ricardo Rora, a senior advisor to the Antarctic and Southern Ocean Coalition, stated, Most Antarctic tourism is focused in a relatively small area on the northwest side of the Antarctic Peninsula and a few individual sites within that area. Even when people behave as required, there can still be issues related to the concentration of activities and their cumulative impacts. Pollution is a possible consequence. Although the Antarctic Treaty requires waste removal and operators are not to cause more than minor or temporary impacts on the environment, accidents inevitably occur. In 2007, the MS Explorer collided with an iceberg while navigating off the coast of the Antarctic Peninsula and sank, causing an oil spill near Penguin Breeding Grounds. All 154 people on board were rescued by nearby vessels. In 2011, the International Maritime Organization banned ships from using heavy fuel oil in Antarctica, and in 2017, the organization introduced international maritime regulations for ships operating in polar waters. An IATO spokesperson told ABC that preliminary estimates from May this year indicate that around 60,000 people will visit Antarctica during the 2021-2022 season. Rora noted that competition within the industry to provide unique experiences is one of the driving factors behind the increasing numbers. Antarctic Treaty Political activities quietly unfolding on this continent may also pose various threats, but amidst them lies a fragile barrier. Antarctica stands as one of the last great wilderness areas on Earth. Environmentalists argue that the region is facing pressures from climate change, tourism growth, and nations vying for strategic positions. All that safeguards this majestic area is a single treaty negotiated over six decades ago, with the focal point of the Antarctic Treaty being the preservation of peace. The Antarctic Treaty is a collective agreement that prohibits military activities, nuclear testing, and the disposal of radioactive waste in the region. It sets out a vision for peace and scientific freedom with cooperating nations exchanging research plans and personnel. Additionally, there are provisions for nations to inspect each other's ships, stations, and equipment. Over the past 60 years, Australia has conducted 10 inspections in Antarctica, the most recent involving visits to two facilities operated by China and stopping at bases operated by Germany, Russia, South Korea, and Belarus last year. Inspections typically aim to verify compliance with the treaty's environmental and demilitarization principles and to ensure scientific research is ongoing. The number of treaty members has increased over time, with any United Nations member eligible to sign. It currently has 54 signatories, but only 29 countries, the original signatories or nations conducting significant research on the continent, have voting rights to decide the future, protection, and enforcement of the continent's rules. Claire Christian, Executive Director of the Antarctic and Southern Ocean Coalition, described the mission of permanent demilitarization of the entire continent as a major achievement. Thanks to this treaty, the research activities of scientists are now ensured. However, the atmosphere of hesitation among nations is akin to a thin glass wall. Professor Rothwell described the atmosphere as a race to the moon among countries jockeying for territory by proposing large-scale infrastructure projects. For example, Australia plans to build a 2.7-kilometer concrete runway to accommodate year-round flights. Due to climate change, the runway is melting in summer and they cannot land planes. But the real reason is for significant strategic directives. 
biodiversity declines. Of course, the inevitable consequence of these activities is the negative impact on the fragile natural environment of the Antarctic, which is on the brink of danger. The melting ice sheets may reveal many secrets, but also pose a threat to the safety of other continents. Scientists studying the effects of climate change in remote areas report that the population of chinstrap penguins in some territories in the Antarctic Peninsula has decreased by up to 77% since they were last surveyed in the 1970s. Scientists aboard Greenpeace's two ships, the Esperanza and Arctic Sunrise, conducted an expedition to the Antarctic Peninsula from January 5th to February 8th and used manual survey techniques and drones to assess the extent of damage. The expedition team observed a significant decline in the number of krill in a critical habitat in the region, Elephant Island, which has decreased by about 60% since the last survey in 1971, now totaling less than 53,000 breeding pairs. Heather Lynch, Associate Professor of Ecology and Evolution at Stony Brook University, attributes this decline in biodiversity to climate change. The World Meteorological Organization reports that a research station in the Antarctic recorded the continent's hottest temperature ever, 18.3 degrees Celsius, due to global warming causing increased melting of ice sheets around the South Pole. Greenpeace is calling on the United Nations to commit to protecting 30% of the world's oceans by 2030, a target increasingly advocated by scientists and governments as a minimum necessary to prevent damage caused by harmful human activities. If we do not protect this pristine continent, its mysteries may disappear before we even discover them. Ultimately, the search continues, whether it's the quest for ancient civilizations the pursuit of extraterrestrial encounters, or the ominous potential of global elites plotting in the solitude of the ice, Antarctica remains a source of fascination and speculation. As we delve deeper into its icy depths, we are reminded of the endless mysteries lying beneath the ice waiting to be uncovered and explored. However, amidst speculation and intrigue, one thing remains certain. Antarctica holds secrets that challenge our understanding of the world and our place within it, inviting us to peel back its icy veil and reveal the hidden truths within.